the Fluke 110. These are really good quality multimeters. That's the 110 and the 111 I've got now. The difference obviously being that this doesn't do amps. It's very, very rare I'll use amps anyway, and if I do, I'll use the clamp on my uh, Mastec. There you go. Volts AC and DC. Continuity. Good beat. Got a bar graph as well. Which is useful. Obviously ohms, all on their own selectables. selector, which is good. I don't like it when you have to go to one and then select the other button, but you do have to do that for hertz. Show sure, another feature. The capacitance it does up to 10,000 microfarad, which is all you're ever going to need. Well, that's all I've ever needed. I've never seen any above 10,000 microfarads, but I'm sure they are somewhere. Excellent, usual flute build quality. It's not made in the USA though, so. But that doesn't really matter, you can just tell it's quality. You can find these, they go for really for really good, cheap money. I paid 30 quid for this one, which is pretty good. If you want to see what, I've, I've opened it up, it's exactly the same inside as the fluke. 111 except for one amp, amp pole, what do we call it, test lead mount point, but other, other than that exactly the same side, good protection, good big fuse for protection, so I think these are only cat 3, so 600 volt, but again that's all I need, personal use. So if you want to see what it looks like inside, just have a look at my other video, the Flute 111.